Theresa May is facing mounting pressure to secure a breakthrough in EU negotiations after the Democratic Unionist Party expressed shock at the handling of the Irish border question and Brexit supporting Conservatives said the time had come to walk away. Senior cabinet members also voiced unease at May's tactics and complained they were not informed in advance about Downing Street's plan to promise the EU some form of regulatory alignment to help move the divorce talks on to the next stage. Sources warned that key Brexit supporters in May's top team would object if they believed that anything was agreed that could limit the UK's ability to diverge from the EU in the future. On the day after May was forced to step back from securing a deal on divorce negotiations after a last-minute intervention from the DUP. May was due to talk to Foster and Sinn Féin leader Michelle O'Neill on Tuesday night but the DUP leader delayed her conversation with the Prime Minister, amid suggestions that the Unionist Party believed there was too much work still to be done on the wording of the divorce deal text. Senior Cabinet sources revealed that discussions of May's recent inner Cabinet on Brexit talks had covered the question of how to calculate the divorce bill and questions relating to the European Court of Justice but not regulation and the Irish border and it was even suggested that David Davis only saw that the word alignment, which caused much of the controversy, was added to the text on Sunday evening. A Whitehall source insisted that simply reflected how late the text was being worked on. The Brexit secretary was called to address MPs about the issue on Tuesday in an urgent question from Labour's Keir Starmer. He tried to reassure the DUP, on whom the Tories rely for votes by promising that any Brexit deal that applies to Northern Ireland would also cover the rest of UK. Davis admitted that the government was seeking regulatory alignment with the EU in some circumstances, but insisted that it would be UK-wide and that it did not mean retaining exactly the same rules as the EU. The presumption of the discussion was that everything we talked about applied to the whole United Kingdom, he said. Alignment isn't harmonisation. It isn't having exactly the same rules. It is sometimes having mutually recognized rules, mutually recognized inspection, that is what we are aiming at. The phone call with Foster, which Downing Street said was due to go ahead, had not been agreed with the DUP and the party was reluctant to go ahead without an agreement on the text. The Guardian understands that there remained fundamental disagreements about the wording on Tuesday, with radical surgery required to make progress. Sources revealed that the Irish government had requested that the text include a section on what might happen if there is no trade agreement between the EU and UK, and so the Irish border becomes difficult to solve. In those circumstances, which Downing Street sources said they believed would not happen, May was willing to offer some alignment. But the DUP fear that would separate Northern Ireland from the rest of the UK.